Happy spooky season, my Cybertronian shit posters! As you all may be aware, for the most part anyways, the Transformers community has generally been a very LGBTQ plus friendly fanbase for the most part. But every fanbase has its human garbage and every fandom has a bunch of fake fans who don't give a shit about the source material until they have something stupid to complain about. Just look at how many people pissed shit farted and nutted themselves over Earthspark Nightshade having goddamn pronouns. So many hate filled idiots tried to review bomb the show in a piss sad attempt to basically cancel it out of existence. But Earthspark basically did something that we've never seen before. It kept going. In spite of a couple of hate-filled honkies and a crippling amount of corporate pressure to be as soulless and neutral as possible, it stuck to its guns and made the central theme of the show and how corruptive and toxic hatred is. All while making Mandroid the most fantastic allegory of the Twitter garbage that complains about their show to begin with. But with every kick-ass Transformers show that dares to go where no other show's gone before, comes a toy line with absolutely zero confidence in its deluxe lineup of legacy characters. I mean, for fuck's sake, Shockwave, Cyberverse Retool, Optimus, a worse version of the Cyberverse figure, Starscream, fucking Cyberverse, and Prowl is a repaint of Cyberverse Hot Rod? What the fuck? Sure, you can't figure out how to make an original mold out of the most basic bitch car former in existence, but you found out how to manage the most impossible ass, bullshit ass transformation like nightshade work in like three steps. The lack of confidence this version of Transformers has in its toy line is completely unfounded because the character designs in the show rip, man. I mean, it seems so fucking stupid to me that they refuse to put in any work into every non-Terran character, and I think the reason for that is the fact that Hasbro can't seem to find an identity in the toy line. Do you want it to be more simple deluxes with slightly less articulation, or a higher-end collector's deluxe with more articulation and some extra refinements here and there? I know! So is incorrect Cyberverse retools! I FUCKING QUIT! On the other hand though, the Terran characters we've gotten so far are way goddamn better as figures than they have any right to be, including the not so new figures of a certain non-binary bad bitch getting ready to show off their sick ass moves to your fly girl and steal all your bitches! Well ain't that a hoot! It's Earthspark Deluxe Class Nightshade! I've seen beyond the binary and it's some crazy shit! So this distant, much cooler relative to Hootie from the Owl House turns into a bitchin' cybernetic robot owl with a fantastic smattering of dark green paint highlighted by this bitchin' metallic turquoise with the weighted gravitas of an absolute lord. I don't know what it is with the owl mode head, but it has such a satisfying shape to it, showing the solemn and protective vibe that Nightshade lives for with these cloudy with a chance of meatball dad looking unibrows showing you they're not putting up with anyone's shit today. It's a little difficult to make out what eye color they have because they're squinting to understand how Orbital Bacon's so insecure over their pronouns, but in all seriousness, their wings are an absolute sight to behold. With the sculpted in pissed off metallic feathering, I do wish they had a bit more vis versatility in their wing movement, but it does the whole flippity flap action we all needed, so that's at least good to know. Being a beast mode, you would think this would just be an air razor retool or just a scrunched up robot mode with an owl head folded over the top, but the transformation is actually a small stroke of genius. Their legs fold up and peg into the back in a way that's actually pretty clever. Their arms cover up the tummy of the owl mode to clean it up a little bit, and then their head just flips around into the robot mode head, which looks like it wants to eat your fucking soul. Check it out. Their piercing yellow eyes stare into my soul when I go to sleep every goddamn night and give me nightmares. Like everything else about the head sculpt is perfect, but why did they have to give them that existential stare? On the other hand, his legs take that sleek physique and give us a really bad case of have a ball, Mr. Squidward. 
Yeah, those legs are pretty much hollow enough to be cereal bowls, and I wish they added a flap on their back so they could have at least covered up the owl mode head that's just gaping out right there. But I'm not going to expect everything out of it, because this figure is still $19.99! Okay, this is after all the inflation, the distribution problems, and the bullshit, you can still get a 2023 Deluxe for 20 bucks. The articulation is actually really good on this figure, and some of that can actually be attributed to the hollowness in the legs being able to pull off the absolute stupid amount of maximum bend, and even though they're missing a waist rotation, everything else about the figure is cranked out to the max. The joints are strong and move like absolute butter, the joint stability is perfect, but in terms of my accuracy... Those magnificent wings aren't visible on the cartoon model, which means EW! Nightshade is accurate! Didn't you know a figure has to have a complex transformation and be perfect to scale in order for it to be any good, you live hard? Worst toy ever. Total ownage. Fucking bullshit. In all seriousness, the dimensions on this figure are absolutely spot on to this show model. The cartoony exaggerated angles bring in the life of a Transformers animated figure with a modern articulation of a modern day legacy deluxe. Listen, anyone can complain about hollowness or a lack of transformation complexity, but a Transformer doesn't have to be perfectly scale accurate or have a high complexity transformation in order for it to be good. I don't know how they did it, man, but the engineers somehow managed to make a perfect owl and robot mode off of like zero idea on how their transformation was going to work in the show, and they pulled it off in only three steps. And I think that really boils down to what I love about Nightshade as a figure. They understand the genius of simplicity and doesn't try to be anything else. It's a figure they knew they wanted to be and they just nailed it. And this thing is still on a $20 budget range, not $25 or $28 or even $30 in some cases. It's still $20. Bucks. And for a figure of this absolute presence and gravitas, I would say that Earthspark Deluxe Nightshade Shade is a figure that is absolutely worthy of being a permanent keeper in your collection.